My name is Kevin Pulaski from Paradise Found Studio, and today I'm going to take you through how I created the mosaic Be Not Afraid, which is currently hanging up in St. Michael the Archangel Church. This is a mosaic made of over 6,000 pieces of glass, and so I'm going to take you through how this was created. Now, it started out as an etching by Gustave Doré, and it depicts Jesus walking across the water to the apostles and I bought a number of different colored pieces of glass and started out with a piece of plywood which I sketched the image on. Now start off in pencil following up with a sharpie marker and then following that up with a watercolor which turned out quite nice and this gives me an indication of where to put the different colors of tile. I start off tentatively with Jesus and you can see it learning to how to trim. This is the first time I've ever done this so trying to trim and learning how to make the, uh, his clothes flow in the wind. And then following that up with the apostles. You can see I don't follow exactly the image, but it's a, it gives me a good indication of, about where to put the tiles. And then next I covered the blue sky. And how I uh, apply the tiles is it's kind of like an Elber's glue except for tile. So it's really easy to work with. It's not too messy. And you can see here, these are the nippers, the tool at the bottom in the center. And that's what I use to trim the glass. And you can see pieces of glass everywhere. So of course, you got to watch where you have to lean. Now here's the foaming water of, uh, that's being crashing down there. And then next, I follow up with the highlights of the waves because that's really what defines the shape of the waves and what colors I put where depending on where the wave is facing. Okay, so if it's facing the direction of the blue, it'll be blue. If facing yellow, it's going to be yellow. And that gives it that sparkly appearance. And then taking on down the blue. Now in the background, it's going to be a duller blue as it's moving forward more and more of a bright color to give it more of a dimensional effect. Now for the grouting process, there's no magic here. This is pretty much if you've done grouting for let's say a, a bathroom project, it's, uh, it works very much the same way. You, uh, it's grout is a colored uh, concrete and it's intended to, to work with tile and it really locks everything in place. So what you do is you kind of squeeze it through with this special rubbery tool and it pushes it through between all the different tiles. Then you follow up with a sponge and what that does is you're wiping down the excess, uh, wiping off the excess grout, and it also shapes uh, the joint in between the tiles. It's a, quite a large piece, so it took some time. And you see me sh uh, shaping it along the edge of the piece. And that's uh, so even the very edge of the tile work has grout on it. So I wanted to have that finished look in case it peeks out around the frame. And then the final step is to wipe it down with the sponge and uh, wipe out all the excess concrete uh, grout. Now here you see uh, the final image in the frame that was chosen. Be not afraid and the passage that uh, was chosen by uh, Father Larry. Great choice, beautiful title. And here's St. Michael the Archangel where it's hung. As you walk in the front uh, in the church on your left uh, where you pick up a bulletin, there's my picture. And here's me, of course, posing with uh, Be Not Afraid. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about the process and I especially hope you enjoy my artwork. Gallery quality prints of this image and many others are available at www.paradisefoundstudio.com.